Hey, this is Dr. Amar. Today I'm gonna show you the ovarian changes from day 0 to 21st of the Easter cycle of a cow. Starting from the anatomical positions of the reproductive organs in the pelvic cavity of cow. The Easter cycle starts on the day 0 of a cycle and on the day 0 when a cow is in the standing estrus there is generally one large pre-ovulatory follicle that secretes the estrogen. There is no corpus luteum producing the progesterone at this time, but you can detect the old CL called corpus albicans. The atratic follicles from the first follicular wave can be detected with the help of ultrasound on the day one. The LH surge initiates the process of ovulation. As you can see in this picture, the FSH initiates the process of the new follicular wave. And from the first LI surge to the ovulation, it takes approximately 28 hours. On the day one of this particular example, you can see the wave of the new follicle appears following the surge of FSH from the previous day. On the day two, few new follicles continue to grow on this day as FSH remains high, but slowly decreasing due to the inhibition and estrogen negative feedback. Many other follicles have become atratic. New CL can be seen as continue to develop in this and size and secreting progesterone. On the day 3 of the cycle, most of the follicles are now atratic and 4 to 6 follicles are remaining functional and growing. If the largest follicle on this day is aspirated, the next subordinate follicle would likely to become the dominant follicle. On the day 4 of the cycle, day 4 is a generally first day following to the new follicular wave that the largest follicle may deviate from the next largest follicle and approximately 50% cows undergo this deviation event. Deviation event can be characterized by the largest follicle acquiring the greater number of LH receptors on the granulosa cells and continuing to grow and subordinate follicles undergo atresia and if exogenous GnRH induced LH surge given it will produce an accessory CL on the ovary. On the day 5, all the other follicles became atratic and corpus luteum on the day 5 will now respond to PGF2 alpha with complete CL regression. On the day 6 of the cycle, the, all the cows, 100% cows undergo deviation event and the dominant follicle will respond to exogenous GnRH induced LH surge. Many cows have a CL that may respond to the PGF2 alpha. On this day, but to induce luteolysis, most of the cows, two injections of PGF2 alpha 24 hours apart is needed. On the day 7, dominant follicles and carpus luteum continue to grow on the end and size of the follicle almost about the 14 mm. On the day 8, dominant follicle of the first wave is still functional and is about of the 15 mm of the size. On the day 9 of the cycle, the dominant follicle of the first wave now become atratic between the day 8 of the 9 but in this particular cow it will become atratic on the day 10. As you can see in this picture on the day 10 the follicle is still there and now on the day 10 it is becoming the atratic follicle. And it can be shown by the next picture that the new follicular wave is coming on the day 11. On the day 11, the increasing FSH allowed the second follicular wave to come on the day 11. And on day 12, many new follicles now became atratic and one follicle became dominant as the cows in the case of first wave. Day 13. Now on day 13, dominant follicle is growing and atratic follicles of previous wave is no longer active to respond to the allied surge. On the day 14, the dominant follicle is now deviating from the next follicle following subordinate follicles and approximately 50% of lactating cows undergo the deviation event on the day 14 which is day 4 of the second wave. On the day 15, the new dominant follicle continues to grow. On the day 16, the dominant follicle and CL continues to grow and still functional and secreting estrogen and progesterone respectively. On the day 17, in this particular example, the dominant follicle is still functional and growing, but there is possibility that follicle became atratic on the day 17 and third follicle wave starts. But in this particular example, the third wave didn't start it and the second, second dominant follicle continues to the 
pre become pre-ovulatory follicle. On the J18, luteolysis of carpus luteum takes place. On the J19, carpus luteum is nearly regressed. On the day 20, carpus luteum is completely regressed and concentration of progesterone came at the basal level and pre-ovulatory follicles start screening large amount of the estradiol. On the day 21st of the cycle, cow is in again in the estros and estradiol from the pre-ovulatory follicle now cause LH surge to come and that causes ovulation approximately 28 hours later to this.